Hi, this is Bob. I'm back again to talk to you today a little bit about knee pain because I know there's a lot of people that are suffering from knee pain. One of the things, and this is about where you would put your electrodes for knee pain. This is one of the areas where you can actually use two different sizes of electrodes when you're using that Infrex Plus. Always start Infrex Plus on interferential. Many patients suffering from chronic knee pain one of the areas they have that's usually very sensitive is back here you have a place called the popliteal space. Now what the popliteal space is, is from a practical perspective, if somebody were to press, the patient would say, oh, that hurts. And you would ask them how it hurts, and they'd say, oh, the pain's going through my knee, it's popping out my kneecap, coming out my leg. That is somewhat similar for any patient that has chronic uh, any form of chronic pain, they have certain points that are more sensitive than others. It's important to realize when somebody presses those points how much it hurts and have them describe how it hurts. And even for yourself, find out where you're most sensitive because that's a good indicator of where to put an electrode. In this situation, I'm actually going to use two different size electrodes. And we're going to do an interferential treatment. We're going to use the Infrex for use the interferential mode. But let's say we've pressed and you found, oh, that hurts. I'm going to use a smaller electrode. This is a one and three quarter by one and three quarter. The reason is the area of pain is fairly specific. We found a point that if you were to take an ohm meter right now from like Radio Shack or somewhere, you would find when you go around this area, this one spot is going to be most conductive to electricity, but it's also most sensitive when you press. So I would use a smaller electrode there. I would probably take a larger electrode because all I'm trying to do now is I'm going to try to have the electricity come out and it goes toward this electrode. Elizabeth turns. I'm going to put it up here where I've got a little bit of muscle. There's more water there. So now I'm adjusting this. I'm going to take my cables. I'm going to put one in here and I will put one in here. Now. Yeah, those are the same channel, yeah. And so this would be plugged into the unit, but then what I would do is I would turn the unit on and I would start the stimulation. And Elizabeth would feel it and such. So she would describe, or you would describe, is that getting in the area that is hurting me? That would be one of my potential electrode placements. Now, the nice thing about this is with knee pain and being able to use the Infrex on interferential mode, she can actually lay down and be still long enough for a 20-minute treatment. If you were using the Infrex unit as a TENS unit, means you're walking around carrying it, then this would not be practical because of the way her knee bends. So if I were to want to try another placement here, remember the only thing important about placement is getting a sensation that's pleasant in the same area that you're having pain. Second time around, I can't use popliteal or it wasn't sensitive. I might put it down here where she has some muscle tissue. Now I'm going to pull this out. I would plug this channel into here. Now, if she turns sideways, Elizabeth, electricity comes out of one down to the other. It's cutting right through her knee. All right, there is a slight difference if you ever want to play with this. Turn the unit off. Anytime you're changing electrodes, turn the unit off. You can actually take the red or the black, and you can intercross them. Now, so pull this one out, pull it in here, pull this cable out, put it in here. There is slight, because on one situation, you have electrons going in, in a direction. If you switch those electrons in the direction they're going, it will change the sensation some. The general placement I would have with a knee pain, though, I would use the larger electrodes. I want to use the larger because I've got more surface area, and I can get to more potential fitting more nerves. I'd put one here. Now I'm going to plug it into my other channel, which operates independent of this one. I'm going to put a cable in, and I'm going to take my fourth one, and I'm going to find some more muscle, and I'm going to find it right up here. So I'm going to put this one up here, and then I will plug it in. Now what will happen when the unit is turned on, and she experiences it now, there's actually electricity going this way and this way. So we are bombarding this area on interferential mode with the uh, sensation from the Infrex unit, and her pain should go away literally in less than five minutes. 
And the nice thing about interferential is that pain may stay away for hours, days, or potentially weeks uh, when you first start off. But that's the nice thing about interferential. But this just gives you an idea of some electrode placement for the knee. Thanks for watching.